that Bryn has bought more NVIDIA, which I thought was pretty interesting considering the stock has been up a lot. It's right on the heels here of Apple with market cap. Why'd you buy more here? Yeah, so next week we know, which we're going to get into, we have the Oscars of earnings with all of the big names that we talk about. And I think that how do you play that trade? I own NVIDIA. I've owned it for a long time. And I think the stock technically looks like it's breaking out. It had been consolidating for the past couple of months. But I feel really confident Microsoft, Apple, via, chat, via OpenAI, Meta, Google, Amazon are all going to be talking about what? Their AI initiatives. And so I think next week we'll have some winners and losers, some disappointments. But I think all roads, once again, lead to NVIDIA. And you're going to continue to see huge CapEx spends from these companies as they're all individually looking to monetize their own endeavors into AI. And I still think NVIDIA is in pole position to benefit from all of that CapEx spend. So I took the opportunity to add to it yesterday. With a 239% return by the end of 2023, NVIDIA was the best performing stock in the whole S&P 500 even if it has increased by another 181% in 2024. Vistra Corp still holds the top spot in the index. Nonetheless, an 181% increase puts NVIDIA ahead of all other businesses valued at $1 trillion or more. The surge in demand for NVIDIA's graphics processing units, GPUs, for data centers, which are the preferred option for artificial intelligence, AI, Model Makers is the reason for the company's amazing performance run. Based on its most recent Blackwell architecture, the business is preparing to begin releasing its next generation of AI GPUs, which will establish a new standard for the whole sector. Blackwell demand is already insane, according to NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang, and I believe this new hardware will be the reason why its stock beats the other trillion-dollar companies in 2025. The H100 GPU from NVIDIA established the standard for AI inference and training. Data center operators like Microsoft, Amazon, and Alphabet chose the chip throughout 2023 after it launched into production in late 2022. Since then, NVIDIA has produced the H200 GPU, which is about twice as fast as the H100 in AI inference. However, Blackwell-based GPU systems, such as the GB200 NVL72, can do AI inference at a staggering 30 times the speed of comparable H100 configurations. Additionally, Huang estimates that the pricing of a single GB200 GPU will range from $30,000 to $40,000, which is comparable to what many data center operators spent for the H100 when it was first debuted. To put it another way, Blackwell will provide a significant boost in cost-effectiveness. This implies that more developers and companies will be able to afford the biggest and most sophisticated AI models. Early in October, Human told CNBC that the demand for Blackwell GPUs is insane. NVIDIA may ship up to 200,000 GB200 units in the last quarter of 2024 and then up to 550,000 units in the first quarter of 2025, according to one analyst. That one chip alone could generate up to $30 billion in data center revenue over the course of the next two quarters. The fiscal year of NVIDIA differs from the conventional calendar year. The business is now in fiscal 2025, which ends three months from now on January 31, 2025. Its fiscal 2026 year will thus start at that point. According to Yahoo, the consensus forecast from Wall Street is that NVIDIA will generate $125.6 billion in total revenue for the entire fiscal year 2025, which is a 125% increase over fiscal 2024. In fiscal 2026, the corporation is anticipated to generate $179.2 billion in revenue. Most of the increase will be driven by the data center category. It generated a record $26.3 billion in the second quarter of fiscal 2025, ending July 28, accounting for 87% of NVIDIA's total revenue, a staggering 154% rise over the same period last year. In the upcoming quarters, more record results should be driven by the extraordinary demand for Blackwell. One of the largest purchasers of the new GPUs is reportedly Microsoft. In fiscal 2024, 
Microsoft spent $55.7 billion on capital expenditures, primarily for data center infrastructure and AI processors. The business has previously declared that its fiscal 2025 expenditures will increase even further. In 2024, Amazon is expected to spend more than $60 billion on AI infrastructure, while Meta Platforms has warned investors that it may spend as much as $40 billion. In 2025, those figures are probably going to increase even further. Due to its enormous pricing power and overwhelming market position in the data center GPU industry, NVIDIA is seeing a sharp increase in profitability. Over the previous four quarters, the company's net income amounted to $54.9 billion, which was equivalent to $2.21 in profits per share EPS, with its current stock price of $139.56, and that EPS figure, NVIDIA is trading at a price-to-earnings P-slash-E ratio of 63.1. At face value, that isn't cheap. In fact, it's nearly twice as expensive as the NASDAQ 100 Technology Index's 32.1 P-slash-E ratio. Wall Street, however, projects that NVIDIA will produce $4.06 in earnings per share in fiscal 2026, putting its future P-slash-E ratio at 34.3. For two reasons, that might be considerably too inexpensive. First, even before the AI revolution swept Wall Street, NVIDIA's stock was consistently over 50 and had an average P-slash-E ratio of 58.2 during the previous 10 years. Second, analysts will begin releasing their fiscal 2027 projections as fiscal 2026 draws to a close. Investors may be prepared to pay a significantly higher P-slash-E ratio for NVIDIA stock if it looks likely to generate amazing revenue and earnings growth once more. Put otherwise, 34.3 might be too alluring to ignore. Therefore, NVIDIA stock might increase by 70% or more over the course of the upcoming year if Wall Street's EPS prediction for fiscal 2026 is correct and the company's price moves in line with its 10-year average P-slash-E ratio. I believe NVIDIA is the clear pick to outperform since no other business in the trillion-dollar club has revenue or earnings growth projected for the upcoming year that is even close to this amount. Huang predicts that over the next five years, data center operators will invest $1 trillion in AI infrastructure. If he is correct, NVIDIA's remarkable run may continue well into 2025. If you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market latest news, you can subscribe to our investing tutorial channel as we post daily updates about the biggest changes and catalyst in the market. So click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Now back to today's video. It's um, in the midst of pretty good momentum. It's up 18 percent month to date. It's been up 28 percent in some three months. As I said, it's barely off of its record high. The others have a little bit more to go. Um, so unafraid, I, I, I find, Bryn, um, to even after that kind of momentum to buy it here rather than wait for a pullback, which hasn't been out of the question for this stock over a period of time. Yeah, well, I mean, I've actually, the way I've been playing the stock is, you know, I have sold calls against it. So when the, call, when the stock sold down, I closed those call positions. So just owning the stock. And so I'm like taking advantage of the volatility. And I think that's a good thing to do with a lot of these names, like an NVIDIA or a Tesla. But I just still see when I'm looking at Apple or Microsoft's, you know, earnings and revenue growth really aren't that strong. It's part of that because of all of the CapEx, especially a Microsoft is going to be doing. And I just think NVIDIA is going to be the recipient. We won't get their numbers till the end of the month. And so I just think it's a good opportunity where next week is going to mm -hmm. be a buy NVIDIA. And I think that's going to be a consistent story from all of these companies who are spending billions of dollars on Blackwell, on H100s, H200s. Josh, it's a top two position, I think, for you. Uh, we're going to have to wait until November 20th for earnings, so we got a minute to wait there. Um, what's your read here? What's your take on, on Bryn buying more up here? Well, I always root for Bryn, but I would just say we know AI spending has been and should continue to be explosive. The question is, how much is already baked into the expectations for the stock? You're talking about a company 
that out of the last five years has had a triple digit return, uh, stock return in four of those five years. You're basically talking about a company that uh, over the last year has grown its earnings per share by 415 percent. It's grown its sales by 195 percent. And investors have gotten accustomed to that kind of eye bulging, eye popping growth. And it's just hard for me to understand where that's going to come from. We already have the expectations based on all of the other MAG7 names and the hyperscalers that are going to be doing this sort of investing. We know that. We also know that there has been a global push for companies uh, to experiment with AI, incorporate AI, et cetera. So who, who's left? Is, is Jupiter and Mars going to start contributing here to the forward guidance? So that's the, that's the risk. I don't necessarily think that, that it has to be feast or famine. There's a universe in which NVIDIA reports great numbers. The stock doesn't rally, but doesn't get killed either. It's mm -hmm. just a, a, a massive company with already embedded huge expectations. And the gains of the past are unlikely to be repeated from here. Doesn't mean there's not another 10 percent or another 15 percent. I just think it gets harder from these levels. And I'm saying this as a long. Even though 2024 has been a fantastic year for equities in artificial intelligence, AI, 2025 might be even better. Many favorable triggers that can promote more growth are on the horizon, and there is still a lot of momentum. The majority of significant firms predict that this market will be enormous. By 2030, the market is expected to reach $826 billion, according to Statista Analysis. Indeed, there is still space for NVIDIA to grow. Sales of the upcoming Blackwell architecture, the most recent version of its premier AI-powering chips, will be the main driver of the semiconductor giant's success in the upcoming year. Although a lot will be disclosed in the company's earnings next month and the guidance it offers, it appears that 2025 may see a notable increase in revenue because demand for its present hopper chips is still extremely high, even in light of Blackwell's impending release. It should remain that way due to the reported 12-month backlog for Blackwell orders. For example, Elon Musk recently bought 100,000 H100s. Each iteration of the chip architecture has multiple versions and intends to buy another 50,000 A200s shortly. Although NVIDIA's rivals are having difficulty keeping up, I don't think they will significantly reduce NVIDIA's market share by 2025. Around the same time that Blackwell eventually ships, AMD is scheduled to deploy its next-generation AI chip. The catch is this. The H200, not the Blackwell B200, will be its immediate rival. AMD is currently one full cycle behind. Although this will probably slow down, NVIDIA has a lot of money to support its faster rate of innovation than AMD. Even though it had to catch up, it spent around half as much on R&D last quarter as NVIDIA. Examine this figure, which illustrates the enormous amount of free cash flow, FCF that NVIDIA may use to keep its competitive advantage. Naturally, money isn't everything, but it surely helps. So what does this really mean for NVIDIA's stock? Let's find out, but first, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow that said back to the video. That's what, no, no yeah. you're big in the name. That's, that's why I went to you next. Um, but Weiss, you're in the name. Yeah. Um, is there more uh, near-term risk in this name now, um, given the run that it's had, as I, as I said, um, the timing of Bryn buying it here? Just give me the way that you would observe, you know, doing this now. Well, just mathematically, when you're coming up to an event that's catalyst for the upside and the downside, given the performance you cited, there is more risk. But that's short-term risk. And Bryn buying it now, I'm sure that regardless of what happens this quarter, if you look out a few months, she's going to be happy she did. So it's always difficult to pick the timing on buying a name uh, or adding to it. And she's adding to it. I haven't been there for a long time. So clearly, right now, they are in the sweet spot. And clearly, they can't 
meet the demand that they're seeing from customers and want to be customers. Mm -hmm. So it's a great thing to do. And as I mentioned, I think a few weeks ago, the fact that Jensen Wong has been so visible and talking about demand, he's got to deliver. And him not be anything but a foolish person, mm -hmm. I believe he knows it's going to be a great port. Now, what the whisper numbers get to be when numbers move like this, who knows, but who cares? Bryn That's sort a moment in time. makes the point, too, that, I mean, the factor of momentum yeah. is a very, very powerful. It's a very powerful mm -hmm. yeah. thing. But, I, but I'd also say that Taiwan Semi, Taiwan Semi is the direct, perhaps the most direct beneficiary of the strength in NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. And they announced on their Phoenix Fab, Right, that yields are four percent better than their Taiwan fab. So that is powerful. That stock's had a good move, but I still think it's going to have a great move over a four-year time period. If you look out for 23 to 26 forward earnings, they'll have double revenues. Right, they'll have doubled earnings. I mean, that's tremendous performance. Not quite Nvidia-like, but I also think it's much more sustainable. Musk's artificial intelligence AI business. XAI just constructed what may be the most potent eye training supercomputer available, despite the news being dominated by X, Tesla, and SpaceX. The supercomputer, known as Colossus, will be used to train Grok, the company's response to ChatGPT and a large language model, LLM. Although many think Grok will eventually power Tesla's humanoid robots, the LLM will initially only be accessible to paying X customers. Doesn't that sound like science fiction? It isn't. The problem is that, although XAI constructed the facility in a few months, it only took 19 days to install 100,000 NVIDIA H100 CES. When discussing the installation in a recent interview, the NVIDIA CEO made it apparent that he had never seen it before, describing it as superhuman and unbelievable. Why? It's a process that typically takes years, Huang said. But Musk is not finished. In the upcoming months, he intends to install an additional 50,000 A200s, nearly doubling its present power. I would not be shocked if he is the first in line for NVIDIA's upcoming B200s, even though nothing formal has been disclosed. At $25,000 each, XAI has already invested a few billion dollars in the project, with an estimated $2.5 billion going into the H100 chips alone. Although Musk and XAI's accomplishment is unquestionably remarkable, I would be cautious when it comes to Huang's claims. CEOs of businesses who transact billions of dollars together are usually quite appreciative of one another, and Huang, like Musk, doesn't hold back when making audacious assertions. The entire initiative demonstrates the extraordinary extent that businesses with billions to spend will go to in order to prevail in the AI arms race. CEOs from the biggest tech businesses reaffirmed during the most recent batch of quarterly reports that they would continue to spend whatever it needed to succeed, and that failing was not an option. The risk of underinvesting is much greater than the risk of overinvesting, according to Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai. Because of this, the business anticipates spending about $50 billion on capital expenditures this year, up from $31 billion the previous year with a large portion of that amount going toward NVIDIA chips and AI infrastructure. NVIDIA is preparing to introduce Blackwell, the most recent version of its flagship AI chips, as I have stated. They have apparently been sold out for at least a year, even though they haven't entered the market yet. And as we've seen with Colossus, demand for the company's current chip version is still very high. There is competition for NVIDIA. The MI325X, AMD's newest processor is scheduled for release this quarter, although it hasn't significantly reduced NVIDIA's market share yet.